You know, the mission is, um, you know, just to, just to bring these kids to love the sport of wrestling and learn as much as you can from it. Not everybody's going to be an NCAA champion, obviously. Not everyone's going to uh, reach that high, high level in the sport. We do have those guys, and we're blessed to have them. But everybody in this program, we, we want them to learn hard work, integrity. Uh, we have a list of 10 things that we want these guys to learn. And, you know, there's there's some things that are mandatory when you walk out of here, and it's not winning. It's, uh, it's the right attitude and, and doing things the right way. I'm Nathan Wempshaw, and I wrestle here. This is how the environment is is one to none. You know, like it's. I, I've gone to a couple of the other gyms, and they just don't have what we have here. You know, it's it's not only the people that make it up, but um, you know how we how we handle ourselves. A couple things, guys. I want to get back right on the mat, guys. I wanted to spend five straight days on the mat this week. I think that we really, really got exposed this weekend. The guys that went down there to Ohio, and I don't think exposed is a bad thing. I think a lot of times people talk about being exposed as some negative thing. It's not a negative thing. If you want to get better, you, chat, you, you try to go find places to get exposed. And we think of it positive, so let's think about it positive. Let's get one man down, one man on top, and let's start cranking away. Let's do it, let's go. Come on, boys. No, no warm up run today. Grab your guy and start moving. That's it. Got no warm up run. Hi, I'm Bray Stauffenberg. Uh, we're currently at Izzy Style Wrestling Club. It's been a great journey uh, with Coach Izzy. Um, he pushes us to our very best, and he he truly knows. Uh, he truly knows us. Tall guys, this I do clinics all around the country, and I always tell guys, who can get the arm in the back? Izzy, Izzy Izzy's the man. He. He knows if we put all of our trust in Tizzy, uh, we'll get, we'll succeed because he truly, he's he's the man. Uh, he looks beyond wrestling. He like cares about academics. He cares about who we are as a person, and he cares about how we wrestle on the mat because that determines our character. If I would wrestle anywhere else, I wouldn't love the sport as much as I love it. So. Uh, when you're going up against a high level guy, you gotta find a way. You still gotta be able to do this to him. So in practice, you know, that's why it's important for the bottom guy to be working too, because we can all get the guy's arm on his back, but against a good guy, it's a different animal. Uh, Corey Clark, that's the name. Uh, going back to high school, four time state champ, Fargo champ, Greco freestyle, four time All American, um, NCAA champ in 2017. I've been in Iowa City with the Brands brothers teaching me and just in the process so much that it's kind of my first time stepping back and teaching these kids. I've worked camps and stuff, but I've never really worked with the same kids for this long before. So it's it's interesting how some of them learn quicker than others. and it's, it's, it's a lot of new stuff to me. Coming in here, keeping this on the back, you know, switching off to an arm bar is a lot of times what I'll do. Or I can do what you guys are kind of doing, where you're doing this. So Corey, um, he fit right in, you know, we teach that style of wrestling here. We don't teach the rolling around, we don't teach the junk wrestling. We're a pretty disciplined program, head and hands, we get in positions and we execute our takedowns. Let's get a break, five minutes, come back, let's get a hard spot. The guys would thumb block me a lot. So I would just, I would snap this down, then I'd go back to my tie, and they would end up thumb blocking me. What I did was I would start here with the hand fight low. I would go to his hands here, and then I would open up his collar. But don't just let him thumb block you. Get a new partner, let's roll. Come on. have a good solid culture where nobody's allowed to go ahead and slack off because we need to be good partners for each other to create a good solid team as one. That's something that builds championships whether or not you have good athletic kids, whether or not you have money or you know resources. Hey, keep that hand in the middle. 
Keep the hand, keep the hand. He's already belly out. Get it deeper, get it deeper. Get it in there, let's go. Yeah, I mean, you, you can see a lot of kids here, you know, they, they are all pretty good. Yeah, you won't see any bad energy or lazy people around here, around this gym, especially around EC. Hey, it's Thursday, baby. It's Thursday, we did this our fifth wrestling workout if you're just a regular guy. We did doubles on Monday at 6. You guys ran on your own, 6 in the morning, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 workouts this week. You should be feeling good. This is our last five minutes. This is our last five minutes. And it's one of those things where I go, man, I'm feeling tired, whatever. But wow, when I really think about five minutes left, I get that extra little bit of something. And you're gonna need that in your matches. You're gonna need that. When you think you're dead, you're not dead. You gotta dig deep. So let's do it. Five minutes, go. So every, every, everybody here is a hardworking kid, hardworking um, uh, person, and they all have a lot of talent, you know, and potential. So it's, it's crazy to have the opportunity to train with them uh, at the level, you know. They have a lot of stamina. They're really young. They're strong, and they they, they just have a lot of way up to, to keep on going. And it's uh, an honor for me to be training with them as well. Water and a break. Do that. If you you need to get out of here, get out of here. If you need to do more, you got a question. Then do it. Do whatever you need. Move it. Move it. Yeah. 